Okay, today we are going to continue to use proportions. to solve percentage problems. We're going to use proportions again to solve percentage problems. So we're just going to progress from where we left off yesterday. And what you worked on yesterday, or you used the proportion, is over of equals percent over 100. That's the template or the format that you used yesterday to solve percentage problems. And it's what you're going to use again today. So a question that you may see today. The directions will say find each base. And when it says find each base, I'll explain to you what they're looking for. They're looking for the of. So the problem will say something like 22% of what number? Is 70. 22% of what number is 70? So remember, your first step is to draw your proportion template. is over of equals percent over 100. So 100 goes in the bottom right. So we need to identify the is. 22% of what number is 70? Is 70. 70 is your is. 22% of what? trying to find the of, so that's your variable. Obviously your percent is 22, so your proportion is set. So basically doing it like when we did yesterday, but we just switched the is and the of. No, you never switch the is no, and the like of. like how you said you had to find the is, so you said you had to find the of. Correct. Make sure you recognize the problems though, and what they're asking for. Yesterday, I think you found some percentages and you found the is. Today, you're going to be finding the of. So after you got your proportion set up, you're going to crisscross multiply. So 22 times x, 22 times x is going to be equal to, right, 70 times 100. So there's your setup. So 22 times x is 22x. And 70 times 100 is 7,000. And then you can Divide each side by 22. The 22s will cancel. <coughs> and x equals 7,000 divided by 22. Set your calculators to second fix 2. Push those three buttons. Second. Fix two. Okay, that's the green button. 
Fix is the period button on the bottom and the middle, and two is the number two, so that all of us will have the same answer. And I have 318.18. Any questions on finding the of? And again, they're calling it the base. All right, so then you're going to have a couple of finance problems. You deposit. $1,400 in a savings account. That earns. Simple interest. At a rate of 3% per year. So doesn't that mean that you put $1,400 in the bank and after a year they're going to give you 3% interest? Right? The question is, how much interest? Will you have earned after three years? So there's your question. You put 1400 in the bank. They're paying you 3%. How much will you have after three years? So to turn that into what we've been doing, the first thing you want to find out is what is Three percent of fourteen hundred. Agreed? If you find out what three percent of fourteen hundred is, won't that be the interest they pay you in one year? What will you do to that number? If you find the interest that they pay you in one year, you'll multiply it by three to find out how much they'll pay you after three years. So it's another proportion problem. What is, so here's your, here's your template. Is over of equals percent over 100. The is is what you're trying to find. So there's your variable. The of, of 1,400. Percent is three. This proportion will give you 3% of 1,400. So crisscross multiply. It's gonna be 100x equals three times 1,400. 4,200 
Divide each side by 100. And x, or the interest in one year, is going to be your 4,200 divided by 100. It's $42. How much interest will you have earned after three years will be equal to $42 times 3. Very good, $126. Does anybody have any questions? All proportion problems. Been doing it all week. Just you've got a couple of word problems where you've got to set up a proportion and then one more step at the end. So your assignment for today is going to be the handout page 141, problems 23 through 30, on a separate sheet of paper. And show all your work.